I was asked to convert the decimal 0.0625 to a fraction. So here's how we can do that. The first thing I'd like to do is put it over one. So we're just dividing by one. It's still the same value. It's just now we have the start of a fraction. I can see I have one, two, three, four decimal places. So with three decimal places, it's 1000. With four, I'm going to multiply this by 10,000. So 10,000 times 0 0.0625, that gives us a whole number. It ends up with 625. But I can't just multiply the numerator by 10,000. I also need to multiply the denominator by 1,000. That's because 10,000 divided by 10,000, it's equal to 1. So I'm just multiplying this by 1. I don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 10,000 times 1, that's 10,000. So it ends up that the decimal 0 0.0625 equals 625 over 10,000. But we can simplify this. So let's do that. I know that 25 will go into 625 and 10,000. So let's try that first. 25 times 25, that gives us the 625. And then 10,000 divided by 25, that's 400. It looks like I could divide by 25 again. 25 divided by 25, that's 1. 400 divided by 25 is 16. So we've simplified this down to 1 16th. What that means is 0 0.0625, that equals the fraction 625 over 10,000, 25 over 400, or in simplest form, 1 over 16. And if you divide 1 over 16, 25 over 400, or 625 over 10,000, you will get the decimal 0 0.0625. So all of these have the same value. One is written as a decimal, and then these they're written as fractions. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.